Hey guys, welcome back. Bolt Spider here, and today we're going to be going over my Virtual World Sword Soul Adventurer deck that I've been playing on stream as of recent of the new format being allowed. So let's get right into it. And first off, we have double Virtual World Kieran Lili. I feel like this card is just a double foolish burial, and you really don't need it all that often. Two is perfectly fine. As you send a virtual card of a different type, monster spell trap from your deck to the graveyard, and if you do special summon this card, then you send a card of the third type. So if you open up Lilith plus Jaja, you're you're instantly getting a Chuche and a Juan a Chuche and the Qinglong in graveyard. After that we have Lao Lao, the one of the more important ones, as it is your monster reborn. And with this being the monster reborn of the deck, you always kind of want to use it a little later than all your other ones if you have it. If you search it off Qinglong, you just get discarded whatever virtual world monster you have. And if you have one on the field, that's pretty much a Shen Shen. Next up, we have one of the best cards, which is Luo. This sends one copy or one type and you add the third type. So most of the time... You're going to be adding your Chuche or your Qinglong, depending on which one. Or you can get your Kowloon, so you can get your Chuche for another name in the graveyard. Then we have Jaja, which returns the Lulu or Lalao during the end phase. Of course, we have the one Yen Yen that we're going to foolish if we open up a name and a Qinglong. As that gives you somewhat of a combo. Like if you activate Yen Yen along with Qinglong, you really don't do anything, but if, if you have something like a Qinglong, Jaja, and a Lao Lao, you pretty much have full full range of what to do. Then we have three Virtual City Kowloon. This is actually a very good card because it activates your gates from your deck, and all the other effects are kind of just not relevant at all. Next, we have Emergency Teleport, one of the best cards in the deck because it tutors out your Lulus and your Nian Nian. I might up Nian Nian up to two, depending on how it is, so that is actually very nice. Then we have Triple Qinglong. Qinglong is your rota of the deck, and it also filters things into your graveyard. So if you open up your Nian Yan, you can dump your Qinglong, you can get the Nian Yan out of your hand. Then we, of course, have the two Chuche. Chuche is very important because it's one of your interrupt pieces. So that, and it's also part of the grind game. And finally, we have the one virtual gate Zhuan Wu because it's an extender just in case. You can also run a t copy of Tao Tao in here. But in my opinion, I don't really see the need now. Sure, it's a worm that you could discard off of something like Long Long, but I really don't think it's going to be necessary here and there. If it does become necessary, I could always just cut a emergency teleport because it being at two or three doesn't really matter. Then we have the one Sword Solo Moye. This is a one card double negate and omni negate with the monster negate that must be on the field and we have long one which just gets you a free barone then we have three sword soul emergence that searches out all your worms so you can search your lilies your jajas moye and your long one which is quite nice then we have our lovely friends one griffin rider the triple enchantress triple right of armies here one fateful adventure and the one draco back now with this deck, this engine is very powerful and most of the time when I'm summoning Modier, it's either if I don't open up any of my adventurer stuff or if I summon it off of Yazi because you could reveal a worm in your hand since Jot, Gigi and, La and Lili are both worms, you can just get a free synchro. Now overall, this engine is very broken and I definitely see it being a... A hit on the next list, not like till ones, maybe to twos, like how the OCG did it. And then finally, to round it up, uh, Hand Trap of Choice, mine is Ash Blossom, but that's really everything for the main deck. Now, for the extra deck, we have one Barone, one uh, Supreme Sovereign Chin Ying, the one Shen Shen, the one Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, which I think I'm just gonna cut because I rarely make it. We have the one Chi Zhao, the one Baxia, one Yazi. One Stardust Charge Warrior, you have your Zeus, a Gaia Dragon Thunder Charger, Utopia Beyond, Ptolemy M7, uh, Virtual World of Phoenix Fan Fan, Phantom Knights of Brick Sword, and Gossip Shadow. Now, my friend Convict, he questioned why I was running Gossip Shadow over Brick Sword. I said it really comes in handy because how the format is. A lot of people are running 
the hand traps like ghost ogre so i could just summon this out to protect my right and my other cards of my engines now overall this also did come in handy because i can make a six material zeus along with utopia beyond so i summon beyond summon gossip shadow equip all three to it so that's five materials poke for 3k and go up to a six mat zeus now in all honesty if i were to change this extra deck I would definitely, once it comes out, drop Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon for the Sword Soul Sinister Sovereign Chinsing Long Wong. This is your other level 10 that we're going to be getting. As if you synchro summon another Worm Synchro Monster, while well, this card isn't on your field, draw a card. If your opponent special summons a monster except doing the damage step, banish one of those monsters, and if you do, inflict 1200 damage to your opponent. When your opponent activates the spell trap effect, well, spell, trap card, or effect, banish that card, and if you do, inflict for 1,200. So, if I'm in a winning game state and they only have about 1,500 left, I could just use this, burn them for the rest if they go into it. Now, for the side deck, it's just pretty standard of how the format is. Double Nibiru, double Lancia, triple Drone Lockbird, one Feather Duster, one Call by the Grave, triple Cosmic, and the triple Evenly Matched. Overall, I really enjoy this deck. It is very, very fun, and I cannot wait to actually build this version in real life because I'm only missing a couple cards, and it's going to be a lot of fun just doing remote duels with it or going back to locals and playing games with the friends that I haven't played in about almost three, almost two years. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and if you have any questions comment down below as i'm always adjusting this list and if you have any feedback let me know but anyways see you guys in the next video